Live, Trans, and Prosper. Hi, I'm Professor Brian David Phillips. Welcome to my humble abode. Uh, I, today, I'm going to discuss how to fix the scale errors for isometric maps on Albert Rodeo. Um, Albert Rodeo doesn't really support automatic scale adjustment for these sort of maps, so you have to kind of do it yourself, but there's a quick fix that makes it a little easier than what it can be. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, I want to show a quick fix for the scale issue for isometric maps, characters, and tokens on Albert Rodeo. Albert Rodeo is a VTT, virtual tabletop, for playing RPGs, role-playing games, such as D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons, or other uh, tabletop role-playing games. But here's the thing. When you use isometric maps, they're beautiful, but they get tricky, and uh, there's no easy fix for them. And I'll give you an easier fix than what I used to do. And so, first things first, we need an isometric map. Uh, I'm lazy, so I'm just going to convert one from a regular map. So let's get ourselves a, a one-page dungeon. And I'll click on over here, I'll leave albear.rodeo and go over here to One Page Dungeon. Wow, what a bow! Uh, what a bow .itch .io, One Page Dungeon. I will put links in the description because I'm all about the giving. Alrighty, so this is a random dungeon generator and it's really quick. Uh, and you can set it up so that it has um, legends and information about the, the area. And so that's kind of neat. I don't have the notes on. I will turn them off. Because I already have an idea of what sort of thing I want to do with my maps. Uh, uh, this is just a location for my stories. Uh, if you would like some story prompts, this is really nice to have those. And there are lots of options, so I can uh, turn on the grid, I can have dotted or dashed, I can check my uh, different things that I want to have. For instance, I want to have, uh, maybe I want uh, water and maybe I don't. But uh, it's real quick when you do it. New dungeon, boom, there it is. Brand new dungeon, ooh, this is a nice map. Brand new dungeon, boom, that quick. Here's another one, boom, that quick. Now I'm going to do a demo, so I'm not really going to use a large one. Um, all of these are huge. Here's a small one, submerged in water. All right, so you get the idea just how quick you can make new maps, uh, which are often named with a paragraph about them. Nice, nice story prompts, that sort of thing. But I've already, um, so once you've uh, found one that you like, you can save it as a PNG or export it. And exporting, you can go to different types. Uh, I'm going to, I, I have already done mine and I've saved it as a PNG. So I know where it's at and I know what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and go into Photoshop so that we can play with this. And here's my Photoshop. And this is the map that I used. Uh, uh, very, very recently. And so you can see it's a very simple map. 
and I've got my Photoshop. You can use GIMP. GIMP is free. It's like Photoshop, but it's incredibly powerful and it's free. So free is good. Or whatever editor for photos and images you use. Now, I've already imported it and I've uh, removed the title and the bits. So I've got a nice map here that I can then uh, convert into isometric. Uh, first things first though, I find this is easier at this step than to do it later when you have the isometric. And that is, I want to know how many of these five foot squares there are. What's the scale of my map? So I count across and I get 19 and I count up and down and I get 17. So 19 by 17 is the scale for my map and that'll come in handy later. Um, as I said, Albert Rodeo does not automatically take care of this. Uh, uh, Roll20, if you are on Roll20, it has an experimental, it is, it is in the pro version, in the beta, test version, they are testing automatic support for isometric maps, which is cool. But Albear, which is very simple and which is the platform that I uh, have my students use uh, at the university because it's free and simple to use and we, we don't need the video and the audio for all that stuff because uh, we use Discord for the chat. So we just need a map function and we can run everything else with the other tools that we're using. So uh, I've got 19 by 17, so 19 width and the, the so rows and columns. All right. And so uh, one thing I then want to do is I want to image, uh, rotate, arbitrary, 45 degrees, Clockwise, counterclockwise, I don't care which one you do. I use clockwise. Booyah. So now I've got my map is turned. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play a bit with that. I'm going to want to fill this up. So I have done that so it doesn't get messy. It doesn't look good. And you can see that the map after the, the graphic is now 4045 by 4045. And what we want to do is we want to take the height number and change that. But we want to keep the width. So 4045, and we want to reduce that by 57.7%. So 4045 times 0.577, and that gives us 13466. Uh, we're going to round up 1347. All right, so I, I go to one, three, four, seven, one, three, four, seven, and my four, oh, four, five is the same. And now I will magically, booyah, and we have an isometric map. And of course, that's kind of silly looking. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, move this around a bit. Let's scale this. That looks the uh, top's okay. I just want to make sure about that size.
I should probably go ahead and check this out for uh, a house. What's the size on it? Uh, it's not too bad. And I will save this file save as. So I save it to another uh, map. Oops. PNG. So I have secret one, but I want secret Now, if I really want to, I can also prep this a bit for uh, for the map. But I'm just going to show you this. You can prep your maps however you like. So this is my VTT. I say it's ISO. And let's go back to Albear. Albear Rodeo. And I start a game. <clears throat> bum, ba, dum, ba. And I want to upload my map. So I'm going to go to the maps and I'll click here and that allows me to upload a map. So I need to go to the right directory for it. And I don't want this one, although I could do a token based one. I'm going to go with this one. This is the secret. It'll take a little while to upload depending on the size. La 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 la. There it is. Uh, secret. I have the VTT ISO. Select that sucker, and there's my map. Yay! And obviously, I'm going to want to populate it with creatures. And I probably would flesh this out a bit more and have some things. So if I go over here where my ISO monsters are, and I just grab myself the Skeleton Warrior. She's awesome. And when I put her here, what happened? Why is she so tiny? She's so tiny. And, and that's kind of useless because my grid is not so tiny. And I would have to pull her up a bit. But this says she's 13 feet tall now. But she shouldn't be 13 feet tall. She should be something else. So that's because Owlbear Rodeo does not recognize my ISO. So here's what you want to do. You go into Select Map, and in the map, you hit this Edit Map bit. And now you can see that, just move that so you can see here, I've got uh, 93 columns by 34. Wait a minute. I thought I had like a cross, wasn't that 19 by 17? Ah, now you can measure things here, but how do you get that? This is a, ah, the grid type. Ah, chessboard grid type. We want to change the grid type to hex horizontal or hex vertical. So I'm going to go with hexagram vertical. And then for the grid measurement, I'm going to use Euclidean. Now I can have snap to grid or turn it off. I prefer to go ahead and do that. Now grid scale is over here and you can either change that for whatever your scale is. I wouldn't. Uh, original quality or you can downsize it. I'm going to stick with the original quality. Allow others. You can have the other people do all this stuff. Don't have them do fog. That's really for you as the dungeon master. All right, so we've done that and now, or I mean, that's for regular, just trying to do it. But you can just do this. I can stick in my 19. 
and I can stick in my 17. So I've got, oh, that's interesting. 19 by 17. There, okay. All right, so I used to turn that. X horizontal, Euclidean, 19 by 17. So we saw how big the monster was, but what if we we just moved a character down here? Boom. She's now fine. Uh, I could make that a little, I could make her a little short, but hey, she's five foot. Ah, four foot. Four foot. There you go. I could grab another, uh, grab her boyfriend, Doug. Doug's that kind of guy. He's a little too tall, but uh, if I grab my monster, so let's get rid of the characters, grab a monster, grab the same girl we grabbed before, Budma, and she fits on the map. You can still play with this, but you don't have to worry about it being quite so out of scale. She is tall. Okay. And that will make it a lot easier for you to do. Yay. And there you have it. How to quick fix Alvair Rodeo's isometric support. It's not great. It's not perfect. Still have to tweak things. But it looks much nicer. And it's at least closer to scale than it was previously. So that's great. Uh, for now though, uh, you just do what you do and you do it so well. Oh, clicky, clicky, likey, likey, uh, share, whatever. I mean, do what you want to do. I hope you enjoyed the video or at least found it helpful. For now though, this is Professor Brian David Phillips saying, I'll live in a triumphant Bye-bye.